There is absolutely no shortcuts to success. But there are always some tricks, tips and strategies which you can follow to achieve success quicker, faster in a better way. And that's something I have learned in my life. You know, in our um, you know childhood, our parents used to say that uh, if there is a jar full of ghee, you cannot take it out with straight fingers. You have to make it a little curved. The same way, if you want to achieve success a little faster than others, then this video is for you. Today, we are going to discuss some shortcut strategies which you can utilize to achieve success in the bioinformatics industry. Now, for starters who have no idea about bioinformatics industry, let me talk about the IT industry first. The IT industry of India contributes more than 10% of the GDP and it's one of the largest contributor to our GDP after agriculture. Now, this is the fastest growing field in the world and in fact, everything in this world depends on IT. But guess which particular field is still untouched by IT? That's biotechnology. Yes, the biotechnology industry is still not touched much by the bio and IT industry or the IT industry. And that is where the next phase of expansion, the next phase of expansion for the IT industry will come from the bio IT or rather I should say implementation of IT into the biotech sector. Right now, having said that, that means a lot of growth is going to come. Now, there are two approaches right now in the biotech sector for IT sector to enter. The first, we call it as bio IT, that is a bioinformatics. The second, we call it as biomedical or tech bio companies. So, biomedical companies are which are building mechanical things like a smartwatch, which you can put on your wrist and then it can uh, calculate a lot of body vital. So, that's biomedical, right? But today, we are going to talk about bio IT first. Maybe in the next video, I can always cover biomedical. In bio IT, what exactly you need to know? Bio IT is slated to grow by 150% or even more in the next three years. Okay. And that's because a lot of IT companies are now interested in how can they impl implement their IT skills into the biotech sector. And the first thing which they have trying to tap is bioinformatics. So that means they are going to hire a lot of people who have a very good knowledge or base knowledge of biotechnology. And they are also looking for people who have a good understanding of bioinformatics. So if a person is MSc bioinformatics, he may not get hired. But a person is only MSc biotech, he may not get hired. But if somebody who has a you know a good understanding of bioinformatics but is from the biotech background he or she can get hired quicker now we'll come to the shortcuts right so first things first you have to understand what is bioinformatics you have to understand the core part of bioinformatics now to avoid years of confusion let us first understand bioinformatics can do what? It can do sequence analysis. It can, it includes structural bioinformatics. It includes systems biology. It includes machine learning and AI in biology. Okay. Now, what exactly you should do to learn all of this? Of course, you can go for some kind of industry oriented training. One such training is at Biotechnica. It's an online training and followed by that, there will be industrial projects also. We'll come to that a little later. Details are given in the description. You can check it out. Now, now that you have understood what exactly bioinformatics does, we need to understand what exactly should be your focus area. So you have to first pick one or two core biotech or bioinformatics skill set. You should not try to master bioinformatics in one day. So you have to understand there are various parts of bioinformatics. The most in demand part are four to five things. The first is NGS data analysis. You, need, you have to know how to do NGS and you have to know how to do the data analysis for NGS. The second in demand thing is transcriptomics. Third is protein structure prediction. And the fourth is AI ML in genomics or proteomics or rather I should say biology. Okay. So these are the four in demand skill which you have to master. So you should do slowly by slowly one step at a time. And that's where the training program which Biotechnica has will help you. Now followed by that, of course, you should do some kind of industry oriented projects. What happens when you do the project? So the first thing I told you is understand the importance of bioinformatics. The second I told you 
the important core skills you need to learn and the third one now i'm telling you now that you have learned the core skill you have to do some projects see without a project if you're trying to um, go to the industry and share they'll say okay you ha- only have training but when you have a project they can actually ask questions out of it and you can answer those questions and get selected faster so that's very very important doing a industrial project in bioinformatics and again that also you can do with our swedish partners and by at biotechnica it, it is completely online you can do that also there's a you know best part about bio it you can do everything online and you can learn right so now uh, the next part which i would like to highlight here is the th- third point is please don't try to learn coding on day one okay because it will scare you okay instead try to learn how to solve problems using coding okay so that will interest you because just writing codes will not interest you how do you solve a problem using code that will interest you right so learn python learn r by applying it directly to data sets like fasta fasta q vcf gtf and then use platforms like uh, biostars rosalind data camp and uh, various other bioinformatics tracks you can use and you have to focus on biological data wrangling and visualization tasks because task because just r- learning plain coding will actually bore you because you are a biotechnologist and not a coder right so that shift will take some time so in the meanwhile to keep you yourself interested you have to learn the newer things which is in bioinformatics um, by visualizing the data now now that you have done that you have to do some industry oriented but guided internship and that is where biotechnica comes into pro- uh, picture so we have live projects we will give you hands on data sets to work upon and you will have a 24 by 7 mentor support and you will be also guided on resume and job preparation and there will be a placement assistance after the internship and training program and the project so uh, biotechnica's industry oriented project is going to be your one of the best shortcuts you can take today if you want to make a career in bioinformatics but that's not the only way there are multiple ways so now that you have learned bioinformatics of course you've learned the tools techniques and all the open source softwares and the closed source softwares and you've started learning uh, coding now the next thing will be as soon as you do something you have to go and create a git hub portfolio so github portfolio you have to build you know you can create a github repository with jupyter notebooks ngs or rna sequence analysis pipelines code based data analysis projects now you must have seen google scholar right so when people publish paper they will you can go and search there right same way when people are looking doing some kind of similar projects when they search your github projects will pop up in google and that is how they'll contact you and they'll say hey uh, i'm interested you have already done this kind of work can you do this for me that's how you get more freelancing projects work from home projects as well as you will get a lot of jobs also like like this okay now that i have told you about the github project the next step task will be publishing your paper like i told you you should and you must publish a paper you know nowadays class 12 students are publishing bioinformatics papers with biotechnica and i'm not lying that's the truth and many students who publish papers with us actually got in, uh, entry into ba- bachelor of science in um, big universities just by doing this so you can now start publishing your paper or the project which you did with biotechnica you can go ahead and uh, you know convert that project into your phd also maybe if you are interested so this will build your credibility into the industry this will build your reputation this will build your visibility and when people will search some other researcher will search on a similar question or project you will get you know you'll your research will pop up and they will contact you that's how the research community works that's how you get jobs right now one part i have still missed which is statistics many students come and say do i need to learn entire statistics the answer is no you don't have to learn entire thing but you have to learn some basic things like p values hypothesis testing t test g square anova pca clustering so all these you can learn of course through our um, you know bioinformatics training program in that we have included a bit of statistics also and you have to not just learn you have to apply it in gene expression or, or variant data that's very important and the best part is all this data is open source and available online so when we train you you can yourself go and download the data and work up uh, upon it so for, ex- for example you don't have to wait for the lab access you have ncbgo you have ensemble you have sra you have 100 genomes you have tcga 
you can use these to analyze data on google collab or r studio cloud and then you can share your findings via your github project so this is how you build your career in bioinformatics and after that you have to start showing you know we call it in hindi that jo dikhta hai wahi bikta hai so you have to showcase your um, you know skill set more often on linkedin on github and various other platforms like upwork and then start applying for remote jobs work from home jobs as well as full time bioinformatics jobs and of course if you are enrolled in biotechnicals bioinformatics global internship you are going to get placement assistance also so right now for example 80 plus vacancies are there in medgenome and we have the con complete contract we are slowly slowly filling those uh, you know vacancies with our students so that's how the uh, you know industry is working right now now one last point i think i should tell you before i leave is you know you have to transition now so because you created a biotech resume now you have to convert it into a bioinformatics resume so you have to mention the tools like biopython blast galaxy uh, gatkade dseek and then you have to mention your project and the project should have a formula like action taken uh, process followed and then the outcome so apo is the formula right so you have to mention the project let's say you did a genome analysis project or a snp calling project or ai in drug discovery project so mention that what was the problem statement what was the process followed and what was the outcome so apo that's the formula for you and then focus on uh, results and visualization and not just like i learned this instead mention that okay something measurable should come out right so if, the, if your project has not something uh, not something man measurable you will not get a job right so this is uh, something you should know and last point you don't need a phd okay so please uh, some people are misguiding on the internet saying that you need a phd to get a job in bioinformatics that's not true completely not true you your msc or bsc with a hands on experience you can start with a research assistant or a junior bioinformatics uh, data analysis analysis job and slowly it grows as you gain experience okay experience is the biggest degree you can ever achieve in your life okay so please stop uh, running behind any um uh, you know degree instead you have to learn the skill and that you can learn through bioinformatics global industrial uh, internship at biotechnica for 6 months so first month is group training and after that you will have one to one project discussions with the uh, scientist this is a swedish project the more you will work the more you learn and then you can publish your paper as well and get work experience certificate as well so that's the benefit of working at biotechnica and now that i have told you everything you have you have the shortcut the next task will be please don't sit idle you have to apply to all the global companies you have to apply for scholarship in fact there is a scholarship running right now called corona scholarship you can apply there also and then specialize in your niche niche keep learning keep doing new things uh, please don't treat uh, the skill of bioinformatics just as another skill this is a real career which people are making and they're earning lots of money so do not delay this is something which has to be done today and for that you have to learn bioinformatics and you have to have a very good experience and expertise in the life science industry which you already have by the degree which you have already achieved so if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment below or you can reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye